주세요. <웃음> 
is full of lazy bastards. That's what it is. You know, they, not like America. We're all such hardworking people. Well, we are, but we're also fat. You know, that's another thing I noticed. And that's like, because of the French and their stinking French fries. <laughs> right. No, Europe is full of skinny people who do nothing. They don't make any money, but they walk everywhere. They bicycle everywhere. America, we make lots of money and we get real fat. I don't know what the correlation there is, but it pisses me off. <laughs> Besides being mad as hell, you've also had some crazy experiences where you've got to tattoo a lot of different people. Tell us about some of the famous people that you've done tattoos for. Well, most recently, uh, baseball guys. I'm really into baseball. It's out of all the sports, you know, I've done NBA, NFL, like, baseball guys are the coolest. They're the most laid back. It's the most American. Come on, apple pie and right. fucking baseball and pit bulls. It's my life. Yeah, like, baseball and pit bulls. I, I can't think of anything more American. There now, is. these baseball players, what kind of tattoos do they request? The, you know, some of them are arguing with the umpire, so do you put, like, the strikes on in their body so they can lift up their shirt and say, look, it was a ball. Here's the proof. That's not a bad idea, actually. Thank you. Thank you, you know, very much. Okay. Really, thank there's you been a lot of... 10% is all I ask. Okay, okay, now go ahead. What kind of things do the baseball players like to have on them? Well... To be honest with you, Tattoo -wise, I've spent most of my time covering up all the crap that's on them. You know, baseball guys have lots of money, but don't know where to go to get good tattoos. It was just recently that they found us. Okay. So now they're all coming, and we're on uh, between 13 and 16 teams. And Wow. And, uh, like, the all-star break for us is insanely busy because it, it, all the players have nothing to do for three days. So really? So they here. come here wherever they are. They come they here. fly into Atlanta. Wow, how we about pick them that? up at the airport, and we watch the uh, all the festivities, the home run derby, everything here while we tattoo. Well, now you're doing baseball players. You've done all these people from all walks of life. You even told boxers, me you did Mike rappers. Tyson. Yeah, well, you know, lots of boxers. Floyd Mayweather, uh, 50 Cent, uh, Nas, uh, you know, rappers. We, we do quite a bit did of that. Did 50 Cent request the uh, half price rate since, you know, 50 Cent? Or... No, no, actually, that motherfucker's got plenty of money. Good. You know, Good. him and, and Floyd. Charge him double, right? Floyd Mayweather and 50 are, are their friends. So, oh, okay. you know, and neither one of them's hurting for for Luke. Right. Even though when he did play the, the tabernacle player. here or whatever, he didn't sell but 700 tickets. Sorry, wow. Pity. I love you, man. But, dude, 700 tickets. Come on. We could have sold that. Yeah, hopefully that you was know? after. We could be all beatboxing and rapping, you know, and, and we could sell 700 motherfucking tickets. Right, now, you've done a lot of people and got to do tattoos for a lot of people in the world. Who would you like to tattoo? Jesus Christ. With a portrait of Tupac. Money over bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, I'd really like to tattoo Jesus, to be honest with you, you know, sure. if, if God had skin, he'd come to us. Now, now, what tattoo do you think Jesus would request? It wouldn't matter, because I'd do Tupac on him, money over bitches. <laughs> no matter what he asked for. Money over bitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, Brandon Bond, Brandon Bond, you're a man who's not only mad as hell, you're one hell of a guy. Well, thanks. You're a badass motherfucker yourself. Whoop. And fuck Oprah Winfrey. And how do we find you? How do we find uh, your, you? You can find us uh, very easily. Type in uh, Best Tattoo Studio into Google. There we are. Also, Brandon Bond, uh, VicDogMovie.com, fucking StrangleholdMerch.com, AllOrNothingTattoo.com. It goes on and on. Just type in Badass Tattoo and you'll find us. Brandon Bond, he's everywhere. I'm Brandon Bond, and you're watching I'm Mad as Hell TV. <laughs> we're back, and she said to come back to see how she was doing with her tattoo, so we're gonna see how she's doing with her tattoo. We're back. Hi. And how you feeling? Yeah, this part hurt. This part hurt? Yeah. You gonna be alright? Yeah. You wanna squeeze the tissue, or are you squeezing your stomach enough? I'm squeezing my stomach enough. I've just okay. been thrown out of Brandon Bond's all or nothing tattoo studio, but luckily I have time to just talk to one more of his mad tattoo artists. Sir, what is your name? My name is Short. Short, you don't look that short. Short, what are you mad as hell about? <laughs> I'm pissed off about BP oil in our oceans. That's what I'm mad as hell about. What do you think should be done about this whole mess? Uh, I think we need to uh, somehow build a time machine, uh, <laughs> go back in time, uh, slap the guys around who uh, did not come up with a plan B. There should have been a plan yeah. B. A and backup plan, like an ankle holster. Plan. 
Where is BP's ankle holster? <laughs> you gotta have a backup. If an ankle holster can't stop an oil spill, what can?